Hey guys, Retire on Dividends here. So February has come to a close, so it's about that time that I need to do an update on the status of my account. Um, as many of you know, I talk about now three accounts on my uh, channel. This is the main one though. This is the taxable account, uh, the Retire Now account that I plan to use as income now for you know to replace either my wife's income <clears throat> help pay for certain bills or even one day replace both of our incomes and live off you know live off the dividends so this is the retire now account the other two i have a 401k and then my wife's 401k so uh, but today's video is an update to only the taxable account so let's take a look at it so right now i still own 500 shares of tesla obviously it was a thousand <clears throat> but the reverse split happened, and my cost basis is now twenty six sixty five. Uh, the trade price of Tesla actually has been going up, but with very, you know limited, very limited movement <clears throat> with the tight calls. Um, so overall, um, you know, Tesla is still just about 20 percent of my portfolio. But that number looks much better. What was it last month? If I go to the blue, no, it was around the same. Actually, it didn't. Didn't move much, sadly. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get that number down because I'm not adding to Tesla anymore. Again, it's 20% of my portfolio. Uh, that's way too much, especially based on, you know, the strategy that they utilize versus, you know, what I'd like to see. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, rather than sell, which, you know, is always an option, sell a portion, of course, not all of it. I always probably have a little Tesla in there. Um, but you know, there's still again, 20%, hopefully one day they'll be at five, five to 10% of my portfolio. But anyway, capital gain wise, um, you know, after obviously I took a loss recently last month, but you know, currently with the, the, the amount that's in there, I have a, you know, capital loss of 3,825. Uh, but again, that's on paper, total distributions from inception, I've made about 5,485 from Tesla, uh, you know, distribution ROI is 41%. Obviously, you know, that includes distributions from, um, you know, stocks that I did sell already. So, but I'm, you know, I'm still going to leave it up and total return. I'm in the green for TSLY, uh, obviously not including the loss, but, uh, you know, 1,660. So that's pretty good. Um, could be much better, obviously. Let's take a look at AMSI. Again, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go through a few and then kind of skim through the others. AMSI, my cost basis is $21.48. The trade price is $23.44. Um, so as you guys know, my strategy is I average down, like once the trade price for AMSI goes to say like $21 even or $20, then that's when I would be adding. So. The trade price has been above my cost basis for a while, so I have not been able to add to AMSI. But on top of that, <clears throat> you can see the current allocation is already at 11%. So I'm, I am trying to control myself and not buy AMSI either way. Um, but it, you know, I'm not gonna buy since my cost basis is uh, under the current price anyway. Capital gains, I'm up 450 bucks with AMZY and total distribution 600 bucks. So, Total return for AMZ is $1,000, so doing pretty good. NVIDIA, NVIDIA has been kicking some ass lately. So my cost basis on them is $21.64. The oh my God, I didn't even realize they hit 30 bucks. The trade price is $30, right? Oh my God, am I using the right, oh my. I'm actually on, okay, I'm using the 330, that's for next month. Luckily it's the same data. But yeah, 30, because this one, I had to copy it over for here to keep the formulas for the trade price. This one, you know, these are locked in numbers. Not, not that you care, but anyway, NVIDIA, <coughs> current trade price, $30.36. Unbelievable. I can't add to them. You know, I'm not going to average up. I'm not going to buy 30 bucks. But good thing, because my current allocation is already at 11% anyway, so I'm not adding any more NVIDIA. Look at the capital gains, 1,500. This is just the down, you know, such an opposite effect, you know, that from TSLY. Um, but again, and for those of you that know, NVIDIA has just been going up so much, it's hard to not, you know, have this fund move up in price. <clears throat> so, 
you know, to be fair, Tesla hasn't really done much since, you know, as of late. Uh, total distribution, 739 bucks, and uh, distribution return on investment, 18%, almost 19% already. Total return, 2300 So NVIDIA doing pretty damn good. So those, you know, AMZ, NVIDIA, and Nephli are my favorites, and I'll, I'll cover them, and then I'll, you know, I'll kind of skim through the rest. Nephli, I own 200 shares at 1832. The trade price is 1915. So this one, again, my cost base is under the current price. This is about 7.83% of my portfolio. That's a perfect number. I don't need to add more. <clears throat> I don't need to sell any. You know, it's just perfectly balanced. Uh, capital gains, 166 bucks. Total distributions, inception to date, 765. Total distribution return on investment 20 percent and total return 931 so again for nephli um i'm it's doing well i guess i'll cover coney coney uh <clears throat> i only okay okay here's what happened on coney i i you most of you know this like a dumbass i'm like you know what let me sell let me take my profit and sell right before earnings because earnings you know they always whether good or bad the stock's gonna go down so I sold and then earnings and blew up. And then luckily, like over the next day, few days after that, I, I was able to get in at a reasonable price. So unfortunately, now I only have 50 of Coney. Terrible strategy by me, which I never do. Um, and rightfully so. That was just another lesson learned of what not to do. But anyway, my cost basis is 2380. The current price of Coney is 2464. Current allocation is only it's only 2.52% of my portfolio. Let me see. Yeah, that adds up to 100%. Only 2.52% of my portfolio. So I can add more of this, you know, should it dip. I'm not up by that much. Capital gains only $42 and total distributions $331.70. Total return $373.70. These other ones, um, <clears throat> if you look at WiMAX, I'll keep up capital gains up to there. WiMAX, pretty new fund. I, I bought it on X date, so I didn't get a distribution. Um, but capital gain wise, I'm up. Clip, I'm still down. I, you know, I've been trying to average down on that one as we go. Uh, let's see what percent. They're only 3.3% of my portfolio, so I can add more. But overall, total return on up on Clip. JEPY, um, they're about, <clears throat> well, well, we'll go, we'll cover all three at the same time. JEPY is 3.56% of my portfolio. QQQY, 5%, and IWMY, 3.5%. So, Capital gain wise, I'm I'm slightly down on all of them, but they just had X dividend date, <clears throat> so obviously you know I was up before that, um, and I did buy some. Luckily, I always buy on X dividend date with these funds. Total distributions, um, you know I got a hundred from Jeppy, two hundred five QQQY, and fifty seven IWMY, and total return. I'm up on Jeppy. I'm up on QQQY, IWMY. I am down, but they had. A rough two months these past two months. S fall. I'm actually down capital gain wise. I've been up on these a while, and they're only three point seven two percent of my portfolio. So there is much room for me to buy more of that. Uh, that I'm a big fan of that fund. It's very simple. Short the VIX, make money, done. Total distributions one hundred and fourteen dollars. Uh, total return on S fall one twelve. Really good. Spy I one of my favorites. This is seven percent of my portfolio. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of at the, the max again, I'm like, again, I don't have that many funds. So I always say like five to 10%, uh, is a good number. Um, I should be, I'm, I don't know. I, I do when I don't want to add more funds because I'd rather closely monitor what I currently own versus just adding so many different funds. Plus I don't, I'm not just going to buy crap because it's new and it's out there. I'm going to wait a little bit. You know, I'm trying to be smart at my old age. So capital gains with SPY I, 157.50. That's good. That's very good. Total return um, with, dist well, distributions was 177. Total return, 334. So really good. HCAL, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorites. Unfortunately, the, dish the dividend is, is pretty low, but there's going to be dividend growth. So this is the only dividend growth one in my portfolio. Hopefully it's dividend growth. They're only 2.66% of my portfolio. Uh, capital gains wise, I'm up 68 bucks. I do, I do wanna add more of them, uh, but they hardly ever dip, unfortunately. 
Total distributions, a whopping $17. I know it's a joke, but in time, this will this will perform well. I don't own many of these low yielders, but <clears throat> you know, if I'm gonna, this is the one. <clears throat> you know, it's not not that low. I think it's 8%. Total return is uh, 85 bucks, so pretty good on that one. Theta, I've been on the fence on this one because I haven't, how many shares do I even own? Not much, 20 shares. I mean, I'm, I'm up on the position by $1.20 capital gains, so I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not sure about this fund, but either way, total distribution, uh, $9.29, $10.49 total return. So I may sell that one because it's such a small position, and I'm not like a huge, huge fan about you know of it. I think it's a, a SoFi one. Uh, TLTW, this one has been performing well for me. Um, I, I am in the red, though. It's 5.46% of my portfolio. I did check their prior, you know, five-year performance. Not that great, but $30 capital gain loss, capital, um, yeah, capital loss. And then obviously I should update that title. Distributions, $27.66. So total return-wise, I'm actually in the hole with TLTW. So, but hopefully I can average down a little more on those, on that one. Fepi, 6.38% um, of my portfolio. Again, I wanted to make it a bigger position. Last month, Fepi was 1.9% of my portfolio. This month, five or 6.38%. So it's now it's now a player in my portfolio. Of course, capital gains, I'm already up 28.05. So, you know, again, I love this fund. Um, total distributions, 59.31. I think that's one, one distribution. Yeah, only one to date. So more to come. And total return, 87.36. So very happy with Fepi so far. Cash. I own, um, well, I currently have uh, $2,676 in cash, mainly for uh, selling puts on TSLL. Um, also, I may use it to buy you know, into some other funds or some current funds, but we shall see. Again, I've been doing some options on my own, <clears throat> and as you can see right under cash, I'm going to reflect the options income that I make as part of my income because again i could live off distribution income i could live off dividend income and i could live off options income so my first month in i made 108 dollars which is pretty good not bad um again i was only using like one to two thousand um you know maximum three thousand dollars to sell some puts on tsll which is a 1.5x leverage fund of tesla again i follow tesla daily so i might as well sell puts on them since you know, they seem to be more towards the low. This, this 200 uh, spot is tight. All right, so all in all, here is the summary. My original investment is around 50,000. My current investment is at 48.9. So capital loss, we're looking at 1,800. Total distributions to date, since I started this account, which I be, believe was September, um, is $9,083 and total return, I'm um, up $7,282.82. Again, this is a much better look than last month because last month, it, you know, a lot has happened since last month. The, the, the market has been moving up and it's, it, it's done very well. Monthly change, I was surprised. I actually hit a decent amount, 1,682 from last month. So um, I thought I was gonna skip you know, I didn't really skip a beat, but I thought it was going to be, you know, a little struggle there because I sold some Coney like a dumbass again. And TSLY, I had to sell for my, uh, you know, for my sleep at night, right? Because I was way too over allocated in TSLY. All right, so let's take a look at that, the numbers now overall, see where I'm at. If I go to the calc tab. And real quick, before you guys ask me, um, yes, this template is saved in my Discord under the uh, Spreadsheets tab. So if you go to join my Discord, the link is in my YouTube channel. Obviously, click join and whatever. And then you go to the Spreadsheets channel <clears throat> and it'll be there. I think it's called um, Retire Now Spreadsheet or something like that. So by the way, if you do, if you guys are just signing up for Discord and someone messages you that looks like me or a moderator, it's not us. It's a scammer. So block, delete, report them, and then move on. Um, it's, unfortunately, it's a part of Discord, so there's nothing we could do. All right, so let's take a look here, guys. My starting investment was $40,000 when I started this whole journey. Um, and then, you know, from the top, 
I did start like my journey again, like I said, it's September of 23. Um, in the, you know, my first month's income was around $1,200. So that was not, you know, enough to meet the goal of 1300. So that month is in pink, you'll see in column D. Um, and then obviously column E, my capital was also in pink because it didn't meet the, you know, meet the goal. And then the next month, you'll see every month after that, including this one, I now I met my goal. But however, in January, I did deduct the realized losses of 4067, which I took on TSLY. So I added that number, which, you know, subtracted the capital. So I had to, you know, eventually just lower the number and move on, right? So now my goal for February was a little more attainable. So that's why I met the goal. It was 1,575. I got 1,682. And I'm yielding 42%. Again, my goal up here, the way I map this out, I want a 40% yield, which as you can see, month to month, I'm pretty much averaging 40%. Obviously, the first month I just started, so maybe I didn't buy enough funds on time, so I'm not really going to count that too much. But overall, a good month. Again, my capital, I'm pretty close capital-wise, believe it or not. Again, I took the hit with the losses, all right? I'll use that as an advantage of tax season. I'll net that against, you know, any income. I believe 3000 could be netted against dividend income and then 1000 against options income, hopefully. I don't know. Again, I'm not a tax person. This is not tax advice. And by the way... I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research, guys. I'm just creating my journey on YouTube for fun and entertainment, all right? So hopefully you are entertained. So capital loss per my goal, 1.82%. You can see the prior months, it was really damaging. Uh, assistance, I did add an extra 100 bucks um, to help me. You know, it, past three months, I've been adding the assistance column, just boosting up my portfolio to help me reach my goals. So as you can see, further down the line, my monthly income goal will hit $2,000 this year in July, hopefully, hopefully much sooner. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to be realistic here. This is with yielding 40%, which is not easy. Um, but, you know, again, I may consider moving around funds like THTA. Like, what, what's the point? It's not yielding much. I'm not even a big fan. Um, so no, no need to bring my yield down if I'm not like a huge fan of the fund, right? So... So in time, you know, as time goes on, you know, so 2026, right? 4,400, which again, is not that much, but hopefully I'll have, you know, maybe I'll have a better result, but this is my realistic expectation, right? So we're in what, February, 2024, four years from now, that's 11,000 a month. Is that enough to retire? Uh, not really, unfortunately. So if we can go up another, well, that's the last year, but yeah, sixteen thousand a month. That you know, it's December twenty twenty eight. Is that enough to retire by then? Who knows? I'll still have a mortgage, unfortunately, but you never know. Um, I should probably bring this down, this formula down even further, right? Do I? What's this formula? Plus thirty. And this does what? Okay. Yeah, so I'll just show you guys. I can just copy it, right? Just copy this. And I bring it down. Since it does plus 30, typically it should go to the next month. <clears throat> yeah, it's one, two, three. Yeah, it's not, oh, there's a the month that skips, see? So uh, we got to do this. Let's just make it like 50. There you go. All right. So if, all right, so we're in what? We're in February, 2024. Let's, let's take a look at five years out, which is February, 2029. That's 17,000 a month. Then I could probably retire, okay? So in five years, if I keep going, I could probably retire. Better, better yet, let's make it an even year. 2030, 26,000 a month. Boom, six years away. If I can make that, I am done. Not saying I'm going to quit my job, but I just want the option to be able to retire. And that is the whole point of this account, right? You know, people talk about maxing out your Roth IRA, maxing out your 401k, which is awesome, right? The, the benefits of those retirement accounts are amazing. But wait, you know, you're 24 years old, you're 30 years old. All this money is now locked up till 59 and a half. What good is that for you right now? What good is it? 
oh wait, I'm going to live off of it when I retire. So you're saying you have to retire at 59 and a half at the lowest then. Is that what you're saying? And everyone just everyone's response would be yes, that that's expected. In fact, 65, 62, 67, right? I'm I'm sorry, but screw that. That's why I made this account. Um, I took all the contributions that I made to mine and my wife's Roth IRA and I started this account. I didn't have any money to, so I took it from the Roth. Some of you may say that's stupid, but me, I don't. I'd rather have the money accessible in a taxable account. So guess what? I got 1600 bucks coming in, you know, that I could use for anything. If I get fired tomorrow, this, guess what? This could supplement my income. If I can't find a job or if I'm, you know, I find a lesser paying job, this will save me, right? Or when my wife quits her job, if YouTube, you know, doesn't seem to be enough money, then guess what? I'm going to use this money. You know, this money is in a taxable. So I, I'm not going to get penalized if I take that out. If I go to the retirement account and I try to take any, any money out, they're going to penalize me 10%. So again, what is the point? What is the point of retirement account? Obviously tax advantage. But guess what? If I started my investing all in the taxable account, yes, the downside is I pay taxes now. But guess what? You know, if I had all that money that I have in retirement in here, I could probably retire right now. Um, but you know, you don't think of that. Nobody tells you that it's just like, you are just expected robotically to work 40 years and then you can enjoy your life. And granted, you know, some people make a lot of money. So yeah, they can max out the retirement and still invest in a taxable, no problem. But most people do not. Most people have very little money. They can't, they can't max out the Roth. They can't max out the 401k. So they do what they can. And guess what's left over to invest in a taxable account? Nothing. So that's my point. Sorry to go off on a rant. And I'm going to make a separate video about that. Um, you know, the whole f- retirement account thing. And we'll see. Um, we'll make it nice and pretty and fun. But anyway, this is the status of my retire now account. Um, again, it's looking like to me five years from now, I could definitely retire if I wanted to, as long as I keep this up. The only downside, which is a big downside, is my wife is gonna quit her job this year. So I am going to have to adjust my contribution. It may go from 1,000 to 500, or it may in fact go to zero, right? Zero. And the reason is I may, because I'm taking 250 from my check a week and 250 from my wife's check a week. But if she leaves her job, obviously we're losing that 250, which is 500 a month. And then I may need my 250 to support the bills since we're losing another income, right? So <clears throat> that may <clears throat> put a big little hiccup in, you know, in the in the in the spreadsheet in my journey. However, I may also get a promotion this year. So that may <clears throat> help me out um, in regards to the contributions I can make. Um, but in the end, like I said, it's not going to be a thousand. I'm hoping I can keep it at 500, but obviously that will reduce the number of years that I can retire with. Um, but again, I just, it's not, nece- it's not that I just don't want to work. I want the option to be able to retire. I want supplemental income that I could do whatever I want. I don't want money to be tight anymore, right? I want to live freely and not worry about finances as much. That's the point. That's the point of this account. That's the point of me sharing because everyone out there is similar. I know similar situations, I'm sure. Um, but you know, the fact that I'm even here, I'm grateful. You know, I've been I've been in debt most of my life, paid it off finally over the past, you know, maybe five years ago I paid it off and I stayed out of debt. And now I'm just trying to do investing and do my best and have enough to retire early or you know. Or just enough to play around with, right? Enjoy life while we're still young. You know, not wait till 65 on an old fart. You know, hopefully I'm not bald by then. But if I'm bald, fat and old, what am I going to do? Right? I don't know. You get the point though. Anyway, guys, uh, I got to go. Hope you guys enjoy my monthly updates. If you did, please click that like button. If you think others would enjoy this as motivation to at least start investing, Please share this video with them. Um, again, I'm a slow growing YouTube channel, organically growing. <clears throat> Got to get the word out. 
Um, I make phones on my video. I don't edit and I post them. That's it. That's my channel. But I don't lie. You know, this is real truth. I don't have sponsors. I don't say subscribe, you know, do this, do that. It's just me and my videos, right? So, uh, you know, not we're, not we're not selling out here. We're just making videos. Supplemental income. It's great. Anyway, like I said, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. If not, I hope to, I hope to talk to all of you in the Discord. It's a it's a lo awesome chat. A lot of people there. A lot of crazy people there. A lot of smart people there. A lot of funny people there. Uh, and it's very active. So you you will enjoy it if you do join. All right. I gotta go before I get yelled at. And uh, have a great day. Later.